All right, new at noon now, an update to a story we first told you about a week or so ago, that the bidding war for Hertz, as that company tries to emerge from bankruptcy, the company holding an auction, that was yesterday, and Knighthead and Sertaris have emerged as the winner. It's significant because it's the shareholder group that reaps the rewards, a true rarity in such matters. What one participant told me was, quote, truly historic. There's still some moving pieces to get through. The deal has to be approved by a judge. It does allow a group of existing shareholders, though, along with Knighthead, Sertaris, and Apollo to take control of that company. The bid providing a distribution close to $8 a share. Take a look at the stock. It's up better than 40% today. $8 still a lot higher than 524 where the stock is currently trading. As you know, it's all happening at a time when travel is picking up. Hertz wants, Hertz wants to take advantage of that too. Weiss, you look at the move today. You know, we did the story of last week or so when Kramer was with us. You strike me as the kind of guy who may be looking at something like this, but also you can speak to just how rare it is that the shareholders come out ahead in something like this. It's usually the bondholders and the equity gets wiped. Yeah, you know, I can go back to American Airlines, and when they filed for bankruptcy in 2011, Dave Tepper told me, buy it. I said, what do you mean? They filed for bankruptcy. Why would I buy it? He said, buy it. The assets are worth more than the debt. They're going to restructure. You'll come out ahead. And it's true. I bought the stock at five, then I bought it at three as the rest of the world's puking it, and it eventually went to 50. Of course, we can see where it is now. But it's rare that ever happens, and trust me, you got to be very, very knowledgeable in bankruptcy. But this really sets a table. If you want a reopening trade, this is one. Although it's tough for them to buy cars now, and they sold their fleets, nonetheless, there's value in these names. So, yeah, it's rare. You may want to take advantage of it, but let it pull back a little bit first. Nobody... Um Nobody raising their hands to, to buy this? Joe? Jimmy? You're, you're the car guy. Nope. Nope. Farmer nope. Jim? <laughs> no, listen, I, I applaud everybody who is in this and make money. This was a speculative play. I mean, there, there, there was nothing saying that it was guaranteed you're going to get this payout. It's still a $750 million market cap company. So you're, you're kind of playing on the fringes here. I applaud people who made money on it, but that's not my cup of tea. Yeah.